Two months ago, Linkin Park released a new video clip that was fully made with AI and it looks like this. So it is looking pretty insane and really impressive that this is done with AI. So this was two months ago and Linkin Park used Kyber AI to create this AI video. You can use this yourself and currently they have a new feature in which you can just take your existing videos and turn it into an animated version of it. So let's take a look what you can do. You can see that a week ago they published this post, Reality Meet Imagination. So you can see you have the original video and it just turns into some kind of animation. This function is in beta testing right now, but I'm going to show you what you can expect from this function and also what other things you can already do with Kyber yourself. I just want to let you know I'm not sponsored by Kyber, I just really like this tool and creating AI animation videos of your own content is just super amazing and something I really wanted to do for a long time. You can see here, this is the portfolio that I have. Here's a song from Kid Cudi and the clip again is all done with the AI tool. And it's just some super crazy animation style. Here we have the Linkin Park video. And here we have the pricing because it is not fully free. They have a free plan that you get 30 credits for approximately 30 seconds with the Kyber watermark. So at least you can try it out. And if you really like it, if you want to try it out more, you can either do monthly billing or yearly billing. If you would do the yearly billing, it's $10 a month. 10,000 credits for 10,000 seconds of video per year. When you created your account for Kyber AI, you land on your My Videos page and I already have a couple here. So let me show you what I already created. So here I have a futuristic cyberpunk city in the style of a Polaroid film. So this is the image that I created with Midjourney. And let's take a look and you see that it slowly morphs into a futuristic city and the big cameras popping up. So this is what it generated with just the original image and it turned it into this. So that's pretty nice. So this was another one that I did. It, I just typed a dog turning into a shark and I provided the first image. This is one I made it with Midjourney as well. And then in the style of Enter Galactic, which is the same style as the video clip of Kid Cudi. And it's just the dog is slowly turning. It's more, it's kind of morphing into a shark, keeps being a dog. I could never create this by myself in a million years, but with Kyber AI, I can. So let's take a look how you can do this as well. So just go in the top right to create video and they have two options. They have initial image or you can upload the audio and make a video clip, but I'm going to just do an image right now. Here I just have an image I created with Midjourney and okay, the initial image and continue to prompt. Here on the left, I will see that it will cost eight credits and here on the top, you see how many credits you have left. So continue to prompt. I want to create a video of, and this is where you're going to add your subject. So I'm just going to add a girl in the supermarket because that's our subject. And then maybe we add something what she's gonna do. So here I have, I want to create a video of a girl in a supermarket going outside into the sun and then continue. And here we have to select the style and here they already have some suggestions. So you see the lost and intergalactic style. These are the two styles that are used in the video clips as well. I like the intergalactic one. So I'm just gonna add that one and then it adds here. But you can also create your own. If you like an anime or a kind of certain style, you can add your own. This site that I already shared before, I will put the link in the description, is a site where you can get a lot of styles and keywords. So here I can also go and go for design styles. And if I click here, you see that there's a lot of different styles. There's a lot of different things that you can do. So I can go to art styles. And you see here that there's a lot of different styles to choose from. And some images are still loading, but I like this Fauvism style. So I'm just gonna copy that and do it here. So Fauvism. And maybe I'm gonna add realistic and continue to settings. And here we have a couple of options. So you can do the duration settings. You can choose the camera movement. So do we want to zoom in, zoom out, rotate clockwise? I'm gonna go left just to see what happens, you know. We're gonna show the initial image in the first frame. That's what we want. And here, this is the important one, evolve. And if you do lower, it's more stable and higher is more wild. So if I go for one, it doesn't change too much. And if I go for 10, it changes in an instant. So five is good if you just want to try out what you like. And if you want it more crazy, you can always go higher. And like this, you just have to wait a bit. And before you know it, you created your own animation. But what is most impressive right now from Kyber is turning your realistic video and adding some animation on top. I'm in the beta, so I can show you how amazing this is. So if I go back to Kyber, you see that I have in the bottom restylized video and I can upload a video and they say it's best to use a short video for maximum 10 seconds and like keep it on one shot because it's still in beta. So they're learning. So I can go to Pexels. Right here, we have a lot of free videos and I think I like this video with the elephant walking and then I'm curious how it's going to change with all the background. 
and I go back to Kyber and restylize video so I can just pull it in right here. And this is the video and I can continue to the prompt. So here I have, I want to create a video of an elephant walking over a street in the desert in the style of, and now here comes the tricky part, like what kind of style do we want? I'm gonna actually select the style that I already have ready. So I'm just gonna select enter galactic and continue to settings. And here the only thing you can choose is how crazy you want it to be. So I'm gonna go for seven to see if it goes really crazy. And this takes a bit longer than with the pictures. The pictures is just easier to do and it's gonna take less time. And here it's gonna take maybe 10, 15 minutes before it's really generated. But in the meantime, I see that the girl that you created before in the supermarket is finished. So I'm curious if it's actually gonna go in outside in the sun because that's a bit hard because normally it's in one static place. So we chose the style Fauvism. So that looks like, like this. So let's remember this, it's colorful, it's blocky, all that stuff. Okay, and now we see how the video came out. And I feel like the style, we really got the style, it's the colorful, the blocky, but she's not going outside. There is the sun coming in the back. I mean, it's super impressive that we could create this just of one image and create this kind of animation. And with Kyber, you just really have to try some things out to really get what you like and in the style that you want. While we wait of the video of the elephant, I want to show you a couple that I already managed to do. Right here, I have a video of just some flowers in a field. There was nothing special about this. And the prompt I used was a field of flowers staying alive while a big fire goes on behind the flowers. And this is just some things that I added. I selected realistic from the options. And you see that it's a bit glitchy, but the flowers are here and the fire is going in in the background. So that did work. So this video is just a person carrying its bike up the stairs, you know. So I want to add some color, add some changes. A person carrying their bike up the stairs while outside the rainbow shines in the style of splatter paint. And you see that it's just, it changes like every single second it seems like. And you see there's a lot of colors. You have the splatter paint going on. It's pretty cool, right? It's just some nice effect that is being added to the video. And again, this is the beta version, so it's only gonna get better and better. And I think this is one of the favorites until now that I did a futuristic hot air balloon in the style of glitch art. And you see that, for instance, here on the top right, you really see that the glitch art is going on. And you just feel that it's animated. It, it created this from a real video, and now it just looks like there's another layer on top that's something that normally we couldn't do without the help of AI. And here I just have a woman that's moving her arms up and down inside the desert. Gave it a prompt, a person dancing while turning into a cyberpunk robot with every dance move in the style of street art. And it didn't come out great. It didn't do exactly what I wanted. She's not turning into a cyberpunk robot with every dance move. That I think was a bit of a hard prompt, but still it's looking nice. So it's much colorful. You have a lot of colors going on and let's just see how it looks. We just have some rainbow colors going on. Her face is morphing a bit. And this is just a nice style, right? It, <laughs> it's just fun to see what came out of the prompt. And I think this one is more showing how slightly you can change it. Because this was just a video of a hand holding a compass. And here you just see it looks a bit more animated. It looks drawn. It looks a bit unrealistic. It's just adding a tiny layer on top of the real video that just gives it this cool animated look. And our video of the elephant is still loading, but I want to show you how it would go if you create something with audio. So you can also do the initial audio. So I just added the song here, initial audio, and I can continue to prompt. So this is just gonna be on top of the audio. So it really needs to fit with the audio. So I added this song from Mac Miller. I will show it a little bit. Okay, so that's what they're gonna add. So here the subject will be, I want to create a video of New York going through busy streets full with cars under a starry night. Now we select the style. So here they already have a couple done. They have cinematic, and then they already add a lot of things here. And maybe I'm just gonna go for that one. They have Art Nouveau if you want, steampunk. I'm gonna go for cinematic, continue to settings. And this is what's important. You can either choose the camera movement direction. So I'm gonna go for zoom in because then you really zoom in through the streets. 
And you can do again the evolve and also the audio reactivity. So lower is camera move less with your audio, higher it moves more. While we wait for that audio video to be finished, I want to show you already one I created. I used the same song, but I used a different prompt. So I used the beautiful sunset in Colorado with the mountains in beautiful colors of the sunset. A person laying on the grass, slowly becoming one with the earth and the colors in the style of intergalactic. And this is just crazy to generate something that looks like this, just with giving a bit of a prompt and typing what you want to see. And it just keeps going forever. And I really, really, really liked it. So you can already try this out. So this is not behind any beta or something. Really go and try it out. It's so fun. So the elephant walking over a street in a desert in the style of intergalactic is finished. And let's take a look. It's looking nice and you see every frame it you have a bit of a shift, but it's really like an animated style, you know, it just turned our video into something that didn't exist before. And I really like it. This is just something so fun to try out. It's super easy as well. You just really have to try a bit with the prompts. If you should do a certain prompt or another prompt works a bit better for you. So really try it out a bit and just enjoy, have fun with this tool. The video clip for the audio is ready. The New York going through the busy streets while under a starry night sky and all the styles that I added to cinematic automatically. So let's see how it looks. And this is so cool. And I think it's just so impressive. I mean, look at this, it just keeps going. It shows a new compartment, a new building is coming up, new focus. I really like this. I'm honestly so excited about this tool and what we can expect in the future. Because Midjourney already changes how we can create images and all that stuff. But now we can just turn our videos into animations. That's just some next level stuff that I'm super excited about. Let me know in the comments what you think about this tool and if you're going to try it out. And which animation style you can't wait to try out on your own videos. I uploaded a video with a tool that can challenge ChatGPT right here. Watch that if you didn't see it yet. And otherwise subscribe because I'll make a lot more AI content.